Thank you and uh, good morning. We have been associated with ICT for close to a decade, I think. Um, and I don't think we would classify any of what we've done with ICT as a CSR, right? I think it's probably a business imperative for us. And we've been engaging with ICT more in terms of enabling our college grads in the technology space and volunteering our employees to go teach them on subjects that may be relevant for future employability skills. So we've been doing that, but here's an opportunity for us to talk a little bit about what we as Dell Technologies have been doing in the corporate social responsibility space. And I think many of them have talked about the fact that CSR is probably a buzzword today because of the law. And, and I think as Mr. Dharmakrishnan said earlier, many companies have been doing corporate social responsibility for many years, even before it came to a law, and Dell is no exception, right? Our founder, Michael Dell, believed that technology is a huge enabler for human potential. And I think we truly believe it. And here is a quick uh, video, if you can play the video, to talk about what Dell has been doing in this space for the last 36 years. So that's just give you a quick snapshot of what we do globally. But moving closer home, what do we do? And I think our corporate social responsibility rests on three strategic pillars from us. One of the most important thing that we spend time on is ensuring that our employees, we have over 25,000 employees in India and about 140,000 employees globally. How do we ensure our employees volunteer time, their time and their skills in the cost that they are passionate about in the communities that they live in. I think that's one of the key pillars that we focus on when it comes to corporate social responsibility for a variety of reasons. One most important reason is the fact that our employees in the communities they live probably know and understand what's required. I think Mr. Dr. Somna talked about the customization of uh, ideas and the programs and our employees bring the customization based on what they understand in the communities they live in. Second, and it's a business benefit, right? We believe that when we encourage our employees to contribute in the cause that they are passionate about, they stay with us longer, they contribute longer and more, and they innovate more. So it's a benefit both for the corporation as well from the employee's point of view and also helps from a CSR point of view. The second, and I think you saw some uh, quick snapshots of things that Dell was known for globally. Inclusion is a very key pillar for us. Um, and we look at inclusion across wide variety, gender is just one aspect of it and it's in our DNA, it's not what we do, it's actually who we are and that's how we talk about inclusion and when we talk about inclusion, not only it talks about what we do internally within the corporation but also in terms of what we do from a CSR, right? 
how do we encourage women? So you saw about Dell Women Entrepreneurship Network. We actually identify, nurture, and invest in entrepreneurial ideas that are uh, driven by women, right? Across the globe, we have chapters running in India as well. STEM education, a big thing in the Western uh, economies, again, a key focus for us. How do we work with women to encourage them to learn technology and also enable them to gain the skills that allow them to be employable for future. So those are some of the aspects that we not only we do from a inclusion for the corporation, but also in terms of how we do with the society around us. And third, and I talked about the fact that we strongly believe technology is an enabler for human potential. How can we leverage technology to solve national scale problems? I'll give you some examples. And Dr. Somna talked about the fact that Government is known for doing things on scale, but they need the corporates to actually customize it and implement it on the ground to make it more effective. And many of you from technology companies understand the fact that technology can actually do both. It allows you to scale and allows you to customize. And how we leverage technology to actually be able to do it. I'll give you some examples of things that we have done in this space. So our programs run across these strategic pillars in every one of these, right? We make sure that the impact is the maximum, our employees get to contribute. One of the ways we actually encourage our employees to contribute is also if you contribute 10 hours of your work every quarter, you get to choose a cost of your choice that you're passionate about and donate $150. Think about 25,000 employees in India donating $150 each quarter, which is about $600 a year. It's a massive amount of CSR fund that's not even accounted for in the CSR contribution. So that's one way for us to say that, okay, you can volunteer time. Not only you can volunteer time for your cost, you also can give money on behalf of the company to further the cost, right? So that's something we do uh, from an employee point of view. Here are some of the key programs that we actually focus on in India right now. Uh, skill building is an area that uh, we've always been working and ICT is an, a, a partner with us for close to a decade now. Dell Youth Learning is a decade long program. We just completed 10 years. We have trained over 600 students. When I talk about youth learning, we are not talking about college grads here or people in engineering institution. We are actually talking about people in 11 till about 14, 15 years, right? Middle to high school is really what we're talking about. We are training them on a bunch of things. And I, I've got a snapshot to give you some metrics in terms of what we do. But we train them on basic education, social skills, um, technology, obviously. Uh, in many schools, our employees actually go on volunteer time teaching children about hygiene, especially women, women and hygiene aspects of it. We go and conduct sports days and sports competitions for schools that um, uh, we work with. An interesting story, our journey in working with schools started way back in 2010, right? And it's very interesting. Some of our school, uh, some of our employees actually want to do something and they went to a government school very close to where our headquarters is in uh, Bangalore and they found an interesting aspect. It's a combined co-education school, both girls and boys study in the school. They felt that the girls were dropping out of school and they don't stay beyond 7th or 8th standard. Reasons? No access to toilets. Right? Girls shouldn't, okay, as they are in puberty, not having toilets forced them to drop out of school. So the first thing we actually built, not technology, not education, we actually built a toilet in the school. That's our start of a journey working with schools. Today, we do variety of things. We build infrastructure, we set up computer lab, we teach a variety of subjects. We teach uh, kids English, Kannada, science. We have partnered with uh, foundation uh, partners to actually do science experiments um, in the schools. And many of these are actually volunteered by our employees spending their time. Right? I think that's one of the ways by which we found that the implementation becomes very effective. I'll talk a little bit about um, how do we train our children for future skills, right? Uh, we partnered with uh, Niti Aayog uh, on Atal Tinkering Labs. Uh, I'll give you a little more uh, context. 
and the last example I want to talk you through is how do we transform healthcare in India in some of the most not easy to reach rural areas of the country leveraging technology to actually make their lives better. As I said over 70 percent of employees volunteer time uh, today our goal is to get to 100 percent right we want every employee to actually be you ready to volunteer their time to a uh, uh, cause that they are passionate about and there are many examples of things that we have done with our employees. I talked about Delta Youth Learning. As you can see, it's about 10 years we have targeted with working with a bunch of partners uh, in this space, American India Foundation. In fact, one of the key programs that we run uh, in Karnataka with a partner called Shikshana Foundation called Prerna where we actually today teach about we have taught right we have taught about 23 lakh students in for close to 43,000 schools across all of Karnataka ever since we launched this 10 years back and we continue to scale we continue to scale this uh, across uh, other states as well and one of the things that um, restricts us in some sense to be able to go to every place is the fact that our key tenet is to enable our employees to contribute. So wherever we are located, be it Chennai, Bangalore, Pune, Hyderabad, Gurgaon, or uh, Mumbai, we make sure we take a course that's close to where we are and enable our employees to contribute. Atal Tinkering Lab is another initiative that we started working with Niti Aagog uh, early last year. Uh, today we are working with about 86 schools and we have three community maker spaces that we have actively partnered with. Uh, in terms of infrastructure, equipment, technology, uh, that's one aspect. The other thing that we've also done is we launched this program called Nai Dishaye, Nai Nurma, Naya Bharat, which is uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, mentorship program that uh, Niti Yog started. Uh, we launched that program. Today, we are mentoring over 25 students across six different groups on their product ideas, right? from prototype all the way to commercialization okay we are actually actually working on and how we do we provide technology that's not that our technology experts are actively mentoring them on and these are across variety of like traffic management water management right sanitary management etc variety of areas how are we leveraging technology to make sure that these kids are smart they have ideas but they don't have access to technology they don't have access to mentorship which we can provide and that's what we are doing today to enable them to take some of those ideas to productization and commercialization down the line. The last example I want to talk to you about is our digital life care platform uh, which is a platform we launched about four years back in one state. Um, at the time, uh, uh, five, five years back, before uh, Andhra and Telangana split, it was in Andhra Pradesh, uh, we started that uh, program. The focus is primarily many of our rural employees, uh, rural uh, women folk do not have access to uh, basic health care. Okay, not because of lack of facilities, because of lack of monitoring around the implementation of the program the government is driving. And we are leveraging technology to see how we can actually uh, monitor the implementation, also measure the impact that's actually being done. We partnered with um, uh, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and also Tata Trust as an implementation partner. And we built a platform completely on the cloud on your mobile devices. It could be a tablet, it could be a phone, any of those and um, in the latest technologies today we have implemented this in 29 states across uh, we have trained 40,000 healthcare workers across the country our target is to hit 37 million women to actually be part of the platform and be tracked for treatment right basic child and women care tracking them for uh, right from pregnancy all the way to childbirth and vaccination, immunization, etc. All of the distract from the remotest healthcare center with the health worker all the way to the district hospital to the state 
and we have also built in as part of this platform remote diagnosis and video based uh, diagnosis and treatment where if the specialist for that particular disease is not available the healthcare worker sitting in the remote village can actually have the doctor join uh, through a video call and look at the data and the diagnosis uh, details and then recommend what treatment needs to be made and the whole thing is tracked through the system so that we measure and, and uh, the government can actually see the impact of the money they are actually spending around child and women healthcare, where it is going, how it's being spent, how they are seeing impact. The larger goal of this is if you see uh, an outbreak of uh, disease in, a, in an area, how quickly can we react as a state mission and health uh, facility to react to that to minimize the spread of that and also be able to treat that quickly. So that is the kind of things that we are talking about and I mentioned about customization through technology. We have launched this in seven different, uh, seven langu uh, ten languages across seven different applications that are launched. Same application, the entire technology platform was built through volunteering from Dell technology employees in India, right. Not a dollar was spent by the company from its payroll, completely passion time that people have spent to build this technology that is actually implemented nation scale, right. Here is, can you roll the video please, just a quick snatch out of what that platform does. I love my job. We are working on issues that really matter to a large number of people. There is no major symptom when you have hypertension or diabetes or the cancers and the fact that the poor are disproportionately impacted by these makes them really important to catch early preventive screening and early diagnosis and treatment dramatically improve the life expectancy and survival rates. So we looked at how technology could help the health worker do her job better strengthening the primary healthcare system. So we're essentially creating a health record for every individual who is getting enrolled into the system. They get screened and their health record goes to the cloud and there the doctors are able to access it. It allows the screening, referral, treatment and management of non-communicable diseases at a population level. The fact that our technology can help make a difference especially in the rural areas, it's extremely satisfying and it's very meaningful. Hopefully you got a sense of what we have done with technology and I think this is a start. There's a lot that technology can actually enable and being a technology company, we feel it's our prerogative to actually make an impact and enable human potential. Thank you.